starting from my secondary three school year. I've been a cross dresser. I'm the owner and proprietor of a company called Trans Life Limited, and we specialise in selling products to the transgendered community, for anything from wigs all the way through to shoes. The people in Hong Kong is more close-minded, and because like the Chinese culture is like. They just have a gender stereotype. I've experienced dressing up as a woman in Hong Kong, watch, walking down the street, and people will be like... It's like when I go with my partner out and they're going to the clubs and the bars, it's the hard time that she gets. I think she gets a rough ride because they start asking questions like, I've heard it before, what are you doing going out with it? Well, hang on a minute, first of all, I'm not an it. You know, I'm a human being and I have, you know, I have, I have certain sort of uh, rights as well as you do. I'm not an idiot for a start. And um, you know, how many times she's had to say, no, I'm not a lesbian. But she's clearly not. She's, uh, you know, a, a straight girl. And these are the general questions you get from generally straight guys or straight girls. They go into a bar and they see their... And, and, and they, they take it that she can take the ridicule and she's, she's fragile as well. I've actually walked out of bars. I'm getting harassed. I think that's really, and, and how male, you know, if you if you wear certain dresses and you make sure that you've got all this shade and it looks like you've got a bust and things like that, how men will talk down to you like this, literally talking down to your bust and again, there's nothing there. It's just nothing. But why are you doing this? And and you you get a, a little bit of a perception. It, it's fun at times. You think can't be doing a bad job here, but it is quite. I mean, an odd feeling. I would say 90-95% of people are still in that very small closet, you know, um, for, for obvious reasons because, you know, to come out openly to everybody else has its, has its dangers and because everybody is frightened of the positive reaction, they keep this secret inside of them. They don't want to hurt their partners or their families because, you know, you, you, somebody that's perceived by their children that their father is very big, strong and manly to suddenly find out that he's, you know, he's a cross-dresser and everything else, that can ruin that image of, of parents. And, uh, you know, we can all understand that. Um, so it, 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 there's certain things you want to keep to yourself and you don't want to hurt anybody else. And I think that's a difficult thing. It's, it's getting the level of acceptance where you can openly talk about it and, uh, and express what really is part of you. It's not an easy path to go on with my parents. I don't know why I just speak it out to my parents like, oh, I dress up as a girl and I look like this. How do I look? Their reaction was like a little bit shocked. They show their discontent and I'll do it in a way which like I won't show them or I'll just like, when they're at home, I won't dress it like this or when they're at home, I'll choose another time to go out. Talking about whether it's safe, so I think, yeah, it is safe. In Brighton, like people are more accepted to it and the people in the shop even call me like a girl or if you're dressing up as a girl, I'll call you a girl. You feel more comfortable in it and accepted in the community of Brighton. You know, Brighton has a certain, it has its own ambience about it. I don't know whether it's being by the sea and everybody's a little bit more relaxed or because there's a, a good, strong and very popular sort of university culture here, young culture, and also there's a very big sort of uh, gay scene in, in Kemptown. And, and I think the mix goes together really well because you can, you can walk down the street and within a matter of five minutes you've seen everything, absolutely everything you'd like to see or not like to see. It's just, it's, it's so friendly and easy going. I think having travelled to Manchester and Birmingham and lived in London and being on the, the, the training scene for an awful long time, I can quite confidently say that Brighton is the best place to be.